Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we have a new setup and I have to speak with the phone right next to my mouth all the time because the other day I broke my lavalier mic. But I bought a new one. However, this Rode fancy mic needs an adapter before I can use it. It's super hot in here, so I have to take off. I have to open this. All right, so today is gonna be super interesting because we're testing sunglasses. I love sunglasses. And specifically, we're analyzing the difference between Ray-Ban sunglasses, these are my old wafer sunglasses, and Polaroid sunglasses. Tell me, do they look good? If they don't, it's all right, because these are polarized sunglasses. And in this video, we're gonna be speaking about the difference between polarized glasses and normal glasses, which you can find anywhere in your supermarket. Now, I have to be specific for those scientists out there. When I say testing the difference between sunglasses, I mean mainly three different tests. I'm gonna be moving to the side to show you some illustrations here. Now, the first test we're gonna be running is UVV spectrophotometry. If you don't know what the heck that is, please go and check our previous videos because we did so much in explaining what UVVs means. Now, UVVs will show us whether these sunglasses are truly blocking 100% of that UV light, or is it 98%? Is it 95%? This is something we need to know. The second test, very interesting, will show us why are we not supposed to look directly into the sun and what happens with this small directional change that causes a lot of relief when we look away from the sun. And the third test is gonna show us what happens when we drop these sunglasses and we scratch the outer surface of the glasses on a microscopic level. Super interesting, I'm looking forward, I hope you too. But before we dive into the science, I have a small surprise for you. The other day I met with an expert on sunglasses and he has years of experience in design, sales and even maintenance of sunglasses. And we had a small chat about some common misconceptions when it comes to sunglasses. Thanks for being here. No problem. No problem. Appreciate I just it. was wondering honestly like about the difference between polarized and mm -hmm. non-polarized glasses. Mm -hmm. I know that you have in your hand the non-polarized glass. Yeah. You can you tell us a few things about it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, if you look at the lenses uh, directly, you don't see any uh, optical difference. If you have the polarized one, you see everything more darker than the normal standard lenses. The point is the polarized uh, lenses are um, better to look on water-based surfaces like the reflection of the light to the water and back to your eye. It's comfortable or more comfortable for your eyes sure. in this case. Can I try this one? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Cool. So you mentioned here that some of the coating has been taken off mm -hmm. or worn out. Mm -hmm. um, is this like a polymer coating, a plastic coating on the glass? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it uh, it's an extra layer to protect um, the, the uh, glasses or the lenses in this case. Um, it's a little thin uh, layer of protection um, to protect the color of the lenses and uh, the UV uh, filter. And this layer is going off um, if you have it uh, on the beach, in the sand, uh, at salty water, ocean, then the extra layer of protection uh, is going off. I see. Yeah. So the thing with glasses is that they're made of just plastic? Yeah transparent yeah and then they coat it with this uv protecting layer yeah so in this case those regions where the coating has been taken off mm -hmm. they're not going to be 100 percent protecting anymore right yeah in this area the protection is not uh, completely um, available i see yeah so it's not like the glass itself is uv blocking no it's the coating on it yeah got it but how about the polarization is it also in the coating the polarization is uh, in the lenses and the extra layer of the UV filter is on the, uh, on the lenses. Yeah. Yeah. In the label they say it's 100% UV protecting. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is correct? Yeah. Is it blocking really 100%? Yeah. From the UV filter? Yeah. Yeah. The, the um, 
darkness of the lenses. This is eighty-five uh, percent. Um, this is a uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you if you want to have like one hundred percent tint, mm -hmm. um, it's impossible. Um, if you have some lenses and you want to remove them, hold it and press with your thumb and your pointy finger at the frame. And then a little bit of pressure and it makes click and the lenses are going out. And to put it back in is in the opposite direction. In this corner, like this, at the opposite and at the bottom of the frame, um, this is the um, softest part and then pressure a little bit you can figure it out a little pressure and makes click and the lenses are in we are back to the lab thank you so much paver for this awesome discussion we had the other day highly appreciate it right now i'm gonna be using what you told me you guys paver showed me this and i have to replicate it now to extract the glasses from the frames of my sunglasses. Wish me luck, I'm gonna have to put my phone away and break my sunglasses. Oh my god! That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. I'm gonna have to... And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can do the first measurement UV vis. Let's go. First, I open my sample holder, I slide the glass in, I close it, and I can tighten the screw on the side really well to make sure that the glass doesn't fall off during the measurement. Now I can place my sample holder in the spectrometer in the right position, and we can start the measurement. The results are out. It's a graph showing the transmission on the y-axis and the wavelength on the x-axis. And as you can see, both sunglasses transmit absolutely zero light in the complete UV range between 190 nanometers all the way to 400 nanometers. Very impressive. This proves that both sunglasses are actually living up to their claims. Now in the visible range, the story is a bit different. Ray-Ban glasses transmit more light compared to the Polaroid glasses in almost the entire visible range. The biggest difference is around 550 nanometers, that is green light, and 750 nanometers, which is red. You guys, I am impressed. Both of these glasses are actually pretty good. They're blocking almost 100% of the UVA and UVB radiation. And when it comes to the visible range, I think the differences between the two might be because of the polarization in one of the glasses and the absence of polarization in the other glasses. I also see that there is a slight difference in terms of the tint level. This is probably induced during the manufacturing process. Quite interesting. Now, when we, when we wear these glasses and we go outside and we look straight into the sun, it's still very uncomfortable to do that. And to prove why this is the case, we need to go outdoors. Follow me, please. Do you see that tree? Check out the shade. The sun is pointing in this direction. I'll use that shade and set up my experiment there under the tree. I'm using a radiometer to measure the intensity of light as a function of the direction of the sensor. When I place the sensor in the shade, the radiometer reads approximately 2 watts per meter squared. When I place the sensor in the sun, the value increases to approximately 10 watts per meter squared. Now when I tilt the sensor towards the sun, the intensity of light increases tenfolds. And this proves why it's so uncomfortable to look straight into the sun. So if you look away just a tiny bit, a small shift in angle can cause a great relief. When you cover your eyes with sunglasses, your pupils dilate. The sensor in your eyes opens wide. And if the sunglasses are not blocking enough of that UV rays, they're actually doing more harm than good. Back to the dark lab. Recently, I dropped my Ray-Ban glasses. Oops. But they're perfect for measuring surface topography using white light interferometry. I place these glasses under the objective of the device. I scan the surface and I generate a map of the surface roughness of my glasses. 
This shows me all the scratches that I've done. The average surface roughness of my glasses is approximately 0.7 micrometers. We have some hills and we have some valleys. And the next time you look at a smooth surface, I want you to remember this curve. Even the smoothest surface finish still has some micro roughness. So the next time you're out in the sun, make sure to wear good quality sunglasses. Try to avoid looking straight into the sun and try not to scratch your sunglasses. <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, um, well, good for you. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye.